from layer one so we will now go to the magic wand and in adjustments it's hue saturation and brightness we choose that one and we have three settings hue which is all these colorful ones i'm not going to move them because i'll make a mess and then we've got the brightness which goes up and down like so I'll put that back to 50 percent and we've got the saturation which is what we need when we put that really low it goes to black and white or grayscale or monochrome whatever you prefer if we do right um if we move it to the right then it goes really really bright it adds much more depth and color and vibrancy we don't want that we want it to be dull and boring let's tap that after we've turned that off we will add a new layer um i have chosen a couple of colors uh for you um but if you do want to choose your own colors that's perfectly fine now using using the watercolor brush set if i was to color this way it looks ridiculous right it's just like a blob of mess i mean it probably is but and this is and this is where we use the blend modes so linear burn would look like this color burn looks like this and multiply is not so far from normal it's the exact same thing just slightly darker so it's basically adding that color onto itself I hope that makes some sort of sense and then we've got the other ones which i'm not going to go through just yet overlay is not so bad but we are going to use color today this is what color does this blend mode basically adds the color you're using onto the color that you have underneath so I'm going to quickly clear that and use purple, my favorite color. And I've still got the second layer above our image layer set as color. And our image layer is set as normal, of course. And if I color it, obviously it doesn't go anywhere else. It will on the actual layer, but it doesn't show because the whole point is to only color what is underneath this is absolutely amazing i absolutely love this don't always use it but it's there when i need it and another thing about this is that if you duplicate that layer you can send it to the blend mode you actually want more visible <laughs> so soft light and overlay looks absolutely stunning look look at how apart from that one <laughs> how amazing they look i am going to clip my clip blah. yeah let's probably just um erase the nasty parts that i created or right, better yet let's erase the whole thing and start again right here's it here it is again i'm going to try and do it neater this time so i'm going to try and go in these areas i just want you to see how it actually looks like on the other blend modes because it's absolutely stunning what blend blend modes could do and blend modes are included in obviously the layers uh, the ones that we can actually see and the brushes as well right i believe that's sufficient i'm going to duplicate that it stays exactly the same no difference whatsoever maybe very slight difference in places that i haven't colored for example let me show you there are a little bit of grays here and here that i haven't colored very well but that will cover it because it's just basically adding more color